they appear to be individuals. They appear mm-hmm. to think and feel and have um, free will and make decisions. But the reality is they are a pure creation of the author. You cannot separate Harry Potter as a character from J.K. Mm-hmm. Rowling, the author. Mm-hmm. And you cannot separate J.K. Rowling from Harry Potter. They are one. They are mm-hmm. the same consciousness, energy, creative, whatever you want to call it. And my seeing is that it's the same thing with us. We are characters in amazing stories, and you cannot separate us from the creators just as you cannot separate us from an author from a character like I just explained. So we are simultaneously who we really are is the creator expressing itself through an individual character in a story. But when we think of, you know, who we are on a day-to-day basis, you're Ben, I'm Robert, you know, the bodies that we have, the houses we live in, all of that, we're the character in the story. We are not the creator in that way, although if you speak truthfully with a capital T, you can't separate us from the creator. To me, this is what's really meant by oneness in spiritual circles, not that we're all individuals who are connected, but that we all really are the author, the writer, the creator, whatever word you want to use. So I and the Father are one means that the, the, the characters are the same as the author, are one with the author. Yeah, and this is not some airy-fairy spiritual thing. I mean, everybody can really take a look at this if they read fiction, and they can say, yeah, I get that, I've experienced it. The character does appear to be an individual and real and make decisions, but a character can't think anything, feel anything, do anything, say anything unless the author wrote it first. And it's the same thing with us, except going back to your original question, the holographic metaphor is how our reality is created instead of just words on paper. But it's a similar kind of a thing. Okay, now I want to get to that in a second, because I think that's really important. But when you talk about how we're the, we're the characters and that there's an author who's writing the story, that kind of implies that we don't have any control over our world. Is that what you mean to say? That's what I have been shown and experienced to be true. And it's something that many people don't like to hear. It's something that many people resist aggressively. To me, if you really look at what happens in your life day to day, down to a very small, a very fine degree, even down to thoughts and feelings and decisions and everything else, that's what you see the truth to be. And I'm all about, as you know from the Ultimate Key to Happiness book, I'm all about what you actually experience, what you can actually see, versus, you know, theories and Mm. theoreticals and philosophies and stuff like that. There's all kinds of philosophies arguing we have free will and we don't. And But to me, if you really look at what's going on and you look at it with brutal honesty and objectivity, that's what you see. The ironic thing is, most people think, oh my God, if that was true, that's a really horrible, bad thing. To me, the reality is, it couldn't be more opposite to that. It makes everything in life so much more delicious and easy Mm. and less stressful just to use those labels versus something precious being taken away or lost. But that's a really long conversation for another day. Let's still the truth pers- of that. But that's what I've been shown on my journey into truth with a capital T. So then does that leave us with just sitting back and enjoying whatever shows up, kind of like you watch a movie? Or does that leave us with, with trying to, to co-create, even though we know that there is ultimately a creator? Where does that leave us? Well, see, here's where it gets interesting, and it's very, it's fascinating to me. In the early stages of this, it can be perceived as confusing. If you go into a Barnes & Noble or any large bookstore, or you were to go into, it's hard these days, you know, because Blockbuster went out of business and a lot of other video stores, but if you went to a place that had a whole bunch of uh, DVDs available for rental, you would see that there are stories of people who are on spiritual paths and they manifest things and they have intuition and they have magical powers and and you see you know things like superheroes that can fly and other kinds there's there's all kinds of stories that are available where characters appear to do all kinds of things and so uh, to me ultimately this entire human experience is about who we really are which my current label is true creative essence I've gone through different labels consciousness and expanded self and different things my current label for reasons that we're talking about here is true creative essence for who we really are and who the creator is. 
um, is all about experiencing every possible what would happen if scenario that's possible within this human experience. It wants to play and explore and express itself creatively every possible way that it can. So there will be some characters who, yes, will try to change their reality and will try to use techniques and will try to manifest, and they may succeed, they may not. They may succeed sometimes and not others, and that's what's being explored. What I've discovered in the path that I've been on is that there is a very different way to have this human experience. There is a very different way to experience your life on a daily basis, and that very different way is very similar to how you experience a work of fiction as the reader, that you can very much be experiencing everything that happens in your life, no matter what, with a similar kind of a relationship mm. that you would as the reader of a really great story. Mm -hmm. So, so you're so we're kind of you use the metaphor of a movie a lot in uh, in the busting loose in the busting loose books. Um, so it's kind of like we're watching a movie. Would you say I, I like the term total immersion? A movie. I, I like how you use that total immersion movie. Is that kind of what you're talking about? We're in an immersive experience, an immersive movie experience. Yeah. I'm very, the way I'm built as a person, I like to be very precise, and I like to be very clear, and I like to be as accurate as possible. If I were to choose a metaphor to explain what I just said, to me, reading a novel is a more accurate and powerful metaphor for what really happens versus a movie, because with a movie, you're spoon-fed everything. Mm. With a novel, you read words on a page, and a whole world gets manufactured in your imagination. Mm. It gets created out of nothing, and it appears very real, and it's a different kind of an experience. And to me, what happens there is more accurate as a metaphor, but either way is fine. Is it more um, a Total is immersion movie experience is, 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 is you know as accurate, but if you compare what happens reading a really awesome story versus watching a really great movie, it's a different experience. Right. Reading is more participatory, it seems like. Is that correct? Yeah. And it's really like your imagination is manufacturing the entire story and then mm -hmm. immersing you in it. Mm -hmm. And there's a magic that happens with that that doesn't happen in a movie where it's all given to you. So say you but have... That's, that's really, you know, that's a little bit of nitpicking. And it, okay. But I just wanted to make the, uh, the point. So, so you wake up in the morning, we wake up in the morning and we do our day, our day begins. Are you saying that if we experience our, the first thing that, that we see and our, our loved ones and whatever experiences we have in the morning, if we, if we participate in it the same way that a reader participates in the reading experience, that we can have a, a different life experience from that? Yeah, but it's not something you can choose. It's mm. not something you can technique your way into, but it's mm. something that can awaken in your life. That's awesome. Hang tight, Robert. We've got to take a break. We're talking to Robert Scheinfeld, author of The Ultimate Key to Happiness and the Busting Loose series of books. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-890-2605. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-890-2605. That's 1-800-890-2605. Call 1-800-890-2605. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light 
system today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then... Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. Caller, are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Jason! Jason! Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the host you're listening to right now, online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link. Engage with other listeners. Ask questions. Start debates. Don't agree with the host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Yes, family and friends are gathering to give gifts and wish health and security. But why not enhance cell phone and wireless device security all year with Block It Pocket? A family-owned American business, we now have two spectacular holiday specials. Find them now at our new website, BlockItPocket.com, or call 888-315-9618. Hurry, holiday special ends Christmas Day. Give the gift of security from BlockItPocket.com, wishing you health, freedom, and liberty. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Find out how to stop Big Brother in his tracks at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. And we're back on the bright side. Thanks for being here. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about connective tissue, the connective tissue matrix, the intelligence behind the computerized mass of meat that is the connective tissue muscle tissue matrix and how it relates to degenerative disease. Today we're talking to Robert Scheinfeld, author of the Busting Loose series of books, Busting Loose from the Money Game, Busting Loose from the Business Game, and then uh, his most recent book, The Ultimate Key to Happiness. Real, real easy to read and very powerful, very elegant book. Uh, Robert, I wonder if you tell us a little bit about emotion. It seems to be a big topic in your work and you have an entire, well, pretty much the entire book, The Ultimate Key to Happiness, is dedicated to understanding that aspect of the human experience. What exactly is emotion in your model? Well, the interesting thing, and again, going back to what I said before, I, this book and my current work that I share is all about observing what actually goes on in your, in your own personal experience and seeing what's there. It's not a theory. It's not a philosophy. It's something that you can actually experience. Most of my life, I was a very unhappy camper <laughs> and wanted to be happy. And after applying what it is that I shared in the Busting Loose books for six and a half, seven years, 
a bunch of stuff began to change for me. And all of a sudden, I found myself taking a look at what is it that's going on inside of me that I'm calling an emotion? What is really happening there? And since it feels so bad so much of the time, what's really going on there? And how can I really make a change so that I can start feeling 